nuclear capabilities ensure that a catastrophic attack on the United States does not occur. We are dealing with our nation's most powerful weapons. We deter every day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and we also assure our allies that we have their backs. I'm Major General Sandra Finnan, and I'm the commander of the Air Force Nuclear Weapons Center. It's a very unusual story for entering the Air Force. I was actually a music teacher. I went back to school to start to learn how to program computers. The California Air National Guard sent me a letter, so I took the entrance test and I scored very high on electronics and they said, well, you know, we've got some really hard electronics schools if you would like to do that. So I enlisted on the spot and went home and told my parents that I had just enlisted in the Air National Guard. I think I shocked them a little bit. Uh, I don't think they were quite ready for it, but they were incredible supporters. I served in the Guard and the Reserve for about two and a half years. I had a major squadron commander who looked at my record and looked at the work I was doing in the unit and recommended that I apply to officer training school. When I first volunteered to enter the missile field, uh, I was a part of an early cadre of women who were brought to the Minuteman system. In the Minuteman system, you have two-person crews, and at that point in time, it was all male. So we were the second base to bring women into the Minuteman force. It was the beginning of a very, very big change. So now almost every career is available to women, and I think we are gonna see a lot more women general officers and senior leaders as we move forward. The key is to do the best that you can at everything you do. It doesn't matter the commissioning source, and it doesn't matter the background. I never would have dreamed as a music teacher that I was gonna be involved in any way in nuclear weapons. And yet today, I command the Air Force Nuclear Weapons Center. I wanted to be good at what I was doing. I wanted to be a part of something bigger. I wanted to make a difference in my life. And I feel very privileged that I sit here today as a two-star general.